Now we're going all the way to Philly in the city center at a Union Hotel where we just were at. That's right. Uh, so I guess Iwazaru is hanging his his uh, his resignation because um, huh, the final order. Because we're just going back and was like, hey, I'm gonna resign if, if you come back. And here I am. This is kind of how. Apparently, that's a reference to another Suda game. Came that situated ah, inside I a hope hotel. You had a pleasant day, sir. Enjoy your stay. Sweet. I got a newspaper. Well, that certainly happened. I mean, can I just go? Like, what happens if I just go? Oh, wait a second. I can't go in these at all. Can I go in this Harmon's room? Will I get anything out of this TV? Don't make me feel. Yeah, all my guys are just gone. Like, Killer7 is no more. It is now just Killer this guy. Where am I going, also? Well, alright. Am I supposed to go in the reception? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba Bloodstain! It's all in... Oh. oh. Okay. So that's what happened. This is what actually happened, huh? That's a... Uh... It's pretty rad. Yeah, I can go to Harmon's room there. Do I just go straight up? Like, I don't have access to a button press. It just went. Dude knows where he's going. If I press the map... Am I just gonna go straight to... There's something going on here that I did not expect, and I might regret. Oh, wait a second. So this is where we got the, 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 the bullets, right? That's Khan. Yeah, this is where we got the shell bullets in the hotel. Well, dude, you are not subtle. You can just use a bullet, buddy. Okay. Wonder why we have to return here though for this. I mean, I'm sure he has his reasons, but uh, maybe that's why Wazaru was really adamant that we don't return, that we don't come here, because he doesn't want all this to happen. He doesn't want the player to know all this in some strange little meta faction. Like this is the only way that makes sense, right? Yeah, there was one Smith in every one of these floors. And they were all killed one at a time by this man. Is the reading I have. And we get to see them all. I remember this. Yeah. So, Kevin was taking a bath. And like, hey. You know what? You should dry your hair. Yeah, he was taking a shower. Look at that. He doesn't have a lot of hair. Well, I don't know. It's just short. No, that's... Why did I think Kevin? Because Kevin's the one that cut the wire. Turns out it was an ass. Alright, see, I thought everyone would be required to the mini puzzle to get them, but that is not true. Uh, you don't, they don't show his butt. Why do we not get mask butt? I think that is completely ridiculous. And also, why did he throw the dry the, the hair dryer in, in the bathtub? Like, did people did he think people think it's a suicide with the giant <laughs> trail of bullet holes in his back? Maybe, maybe. All right. So we're a bit of a going through the motions here, but we will do what we do. Although now I do regret not having saved before and keeping this for its own thing, because this is super rad. I might still split in two videos. We'll see. You guys know. I don't. Oh, all the way here. There's a blood stain right, right there, right next to this. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, she's afraid. She is not having a good time. Like, she wasn't. The other two were taken unaware. She is extremely aware. 404. Kaede went missing. This is a pretty sweet internet reference I just made there. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he knows. Like, he doesn't even need to open the door. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Oh, it's still gonna open. Yeah, look at that. She's just... She's the only one that still has blood stain on her. Though. Everyone else is looking clean. Like, even when she changed dress, the blood stain. Maybe she stained all her dresses to match. Oh, she got a thing now. You know, she's the one with, like, the, the blood stain on her clothes. Looking pretty good. It's a style. <laughs> Stylistic choice. Alright, that's three. <laughs> Only three more to go. Oh, this is the cool one. Look at that bush. All right, right here, room five, four, two. Go here, so hmm, I don't know about that. Oh, there's my Miles. What are you doing here? Well, we're not done yet, but we're getting there. So he is dead. So he can be one of the ones sitting at the top of the hotel. Please do. Oh, you're still going on about this? Uh-huh. I mean, the sad thing is there are, like, people who believe things that are, like, even much wilder than this. Like, why would you go through all this? Like, at that point, just admit that it's essentially a monarchy. Eh. Dog with bad guy's owner. Like they say. I doubt it. Yeah, I could hear the above part there of the speech. Garcy. No, oh, well, first I need to spot how I killed all of my system here. Oh, that one. All right, didn't lose any time. Oh no, yeah, whoever it is, probably Coyote. Yeah, he defended himself, a shot. I mean, good for him, but it didn't really help. And then he died in his underwears, which, ugh. Like, what a way to go, man. Oh, really? You didn't spot him, like, immediately? Come on. <laughs> he can probably see you, if the reflections are that good. I keep thinking that vase is a... Oh, you're gonna shoot from the other room. That's a high caliber. Oh, oh or you're gonna do it from here, alright. It's a shared veranda? Would a hotel have a shared veranda between two different rooms? Like, I don't want whoever's staying next door to have access to where I'm staying. I guess it would be used exclusively for people who rent rooms in pairs, like families or something. I guess that would work. Anyways. I've been thinking about that <laughs> while watching this gruesome scene. That barely registers in terms of hyper-violence. Welcome to 2022. <laughs> oh, that got unnecessarily dark. Hey, that's the one with the weird lighting. So, hey, you want to hang out in tomato soup? In the hotel form? No one will say yes, but it's an option. Right, uh, so, so who's left? There's Dan left. And Kevin. So, oh. you must be the one they call the bloody heart. They actually man. had a conversation. You here to kill the Smiths? Is that it? And they were called the Smiths. Well, some. Don't set your goals too high. So they were an what actual syndicate that acted want, independently. Huh? You. Heh. <laughs> well, poor old Dan. I mean, it doesn't help that Dan is perpetually drunk. Or at least that's how I interpret his voice work. 
He sounds like the guy from uh, the Town With No Name game. You know, that like very bad Kusoge Western. He sounds exactly like the main character in that game. Odd ordering of people. Or did we kill Kevin and I didn't realize it? I guess that's not impossible. Alright, well, this is as good a place as any to save. And next time, I mean, we're heading towards something kind of major here. It's very clear that next time's gonna be the last one, right? Like, I don't even have most of my player characters at this point, so...